what's going on guys this is games welcome to my channel in this video we are going to test and compare two most popular chests for demon hunter one is the hate sheet that gives us 40 percent increase attack speed and on top of that we get 18 percent damage with vengeance as well also we get the cooldown for vengeance here if we have our slot awakened so we are going to test H sheet versus the new chest that does the wind shear effect knockback shot now causes your primary attack to also fire a blast of wind that knock enemies away and damage increases 18 percent and also if you have a weakened slot it will give you 10 percent more knockback shot damage so that is exactly what we are going to test and we will have a slightly different build hold on i think there is a slight mistake here let me quickly correct that because i didn't notice with the h heat we are going to go with the hunger here and now let me just quickly oh wait is it getting stuck hold on all right h heat that's the history right yeah all right so our setup is going to be we are obviously going to change the chest here and most of the stuff is going to remain the same we are going to go with four piece of shawl bars two piece of vitus urge here on both of our bills on the wind shear chest we have paul's manifesto up shoulder of our choice we are using daring swing i mean the scone big for 30 percent attack speed then we have excavator and preferred instrument for the wind shear chest and for the hit sheet we are using vision of the lost but when you go inside the pvp you can change that to scattered mask as well which cause total loss of control and here on the shoulder we are using stampede for reign of vengeance because we are going to replace knockback shot skill with reign of vengeance and here we have the same pant for the scone beak that is going to give us 30 percent attack speed then here we have excavator and hunger so three essence are being replaced three or four yeah four are being replaced and how are we going to test that we are going to do time to kill against the boss and then speed run carbon soap echo doing solo on hell 8 difficulty so yeah let's jump into it right now i am equipped with the h feed so let's see what's the time to kill with this and the other one you guys will be able to see the test side by side so yeah let's get into this all right there goes our first test which shows that h heat is actually around two seconds slower compared to the wind shear and now we are moving on to our next test which is going to be a speed one carbon of echoes on hell a difficulty so let's get into this all right on the left side we have h sheet with vengeance of course and on the right side we are using new chest for the wind shear knockback shot and while you guys are watching this i want to talk about the things that i have been seeing in the community people saying that after we demon hunter got this new chest we demon hunter has become op but this result is going to actually show you that the difference isn't really that much i used to say that i have been saying this 
for a very long time now that Demon Hunter has one of the highest damage for a very long time now and having Windshear now only makes Demon Hunter slightly better but not a lot and you can already see the difference here uh, with the hate sheet I am already dealing really good damage here also I am behind here but when it comes down to the completion of the speed run the difference is going to be really short the thing which I notice is that hate sheet is actually a lot quicker to take down trash monsters and the only issue with that is the cooldown for that and uh, right now i am working on my third gem to awaken it and if i does that then the cooldown on the vengeance is going to go down even 10 percent but same thing is going to happen for the wind shear knockback shot as well with the helmet here but both in my opinion are really strong if you guys do not like with the wind shear effect and want to try something else then definitely uh head sheet is the option and on top of that you can try something else instead of using rain of vengeance or you can use the new rain of vengeance that actually uh do the fire arrow thing and it even has a smaller cooldown of only 12 seconds so that is actually a better option as well but here i was using the stamping and as you can see we are pretty close now because hair sheet was able to take down trash a lot quicker for some reason maybe because it has higher attack speed i was on the i was with it the 100% attack speed and with the wind shield it was 95% but who knows but anyways there goes the result i would not say that that this is 100% correct but i can tell you one thing that i have been playing demon hunter from day one of diablo immortal launch day and i can pretty much say that i have put thousand and thousand of hours into playing demon hunter and i can definitely say even if you guys want to play demon hunter without the wind shear you can do it and the difference isn't going to be that huge but it is really good to have wind shear in the pvp because it does a knockback effect but still there are still viable options available for demon hunter even after getting this new chest so that pretty much concludes my video and i hope you guys find this useful and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i have i will be doing some more testing in coming days as well and if you guys want me to test something uh which i haven't already then drop uh and i mean mention that below in the comment section and i might do that as well but anyways i'll see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys